Yes, it is Saturday night. Saturday night. And I am excited to come your way. I believe you have watched the previous video. I've given my team lineup. I've not given my prediction, my score line. Will you be the first to hear it? Yes, I purposely left it out. I didn't give my team. I gave my team lineup, but I did not give my prediction, the score line, the goal line. <laughs> it is a difficult one. Difficult call. You know that? By the way, it is a football night and it's all about bet winner. Bet winner. Yes. As you can see it on the screen, there are games we play tonight. Try and register with bet winner and play your game. You will surely win this weekend big. Christmas is just around the corner. Be part of those who win big and celebrate the Christmas world. It's football season. Daily, there are games to be played. Bet every day. And remember to use my promo code TIM1979. T I M. 1979 and win something great so that you can celebrate this Christmas, my dear friend. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get cracking, cracking, cracking. Well, 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 well. I get my team lined up and um, let me give you a review of what I think. Let me just, those of you that missed out on the previous one, well, you can still go back and watch it. But I get my team lined up quickly. Sanchez and Gopos, Harvey James. Thiago Silva, Levi Cowell, Cucurella, Casado, Enzo, Galaga, Sterling. No, I left Sterling and Moidrick for you to fill. Sterling and Moidrick, who should be there? Kopama and Jackson. So tell me, Sterling and Moidrick, who should play, be on the left flank, the left winger? Sterling and Moidrick, who? Let me hear from you in the comment section. But I didn't tell them the previous week. I didn't tell them who the goal scholar. Now, should I predict for you? Yeah, it's going to be 2-1. 2-1 in favor of Chelsea. Wait, let me hear. Let me listen to my instincts once again. Do you say 2-1? 2-0. I changed my mind. It's allowed. Yeah, it, it, it is allowed to change your mind. If it's only a fool that doesn't change his mind. I'm sorry to say that. I've changed my mind. 2-0 in favor of Chelsea. Yes. Yes. 2-0. Man City, we are given two. And they will not be able to answer even one. 2-0. I mean it. All right. You heard that from me. 2-0. Yeah. Quickly, following a review of the incident, the FA will take no further action over Raheem Sterling throwing an object back off the pitch during Chelsea's victory over Tottenham. Yeah, during the week there were news around that Sterling was going to be dealt with by the FA, that the disciplinary committee of FA they are reviewing Raheem Sterling throwing an object which was thrown to them during the celebration when Kopama scored a goal. That object that was thrown to them, Raheem Sterling picked it on the floor and threw it back into the crowd. That the FA is reviewing the video. I said it here. That anyone who will see that video and will conclude that Raheem Sterling purposely and intentionally took whatever it is, the piece of metal, whatever, and threw back into the crowd in, with a, a, a bad intention or evil intention in, to hurt someone, that person probably is insane. Because if you watch the video, they were running to go and celebrate with Kopama. The object dropped, I mean, flew right in front of Raheem Sterling. He saw it. He went and celebrated with Kopama. When they were coming back, he bent down and picked the object. And as a footballer, anything on the floor, be it a piece of stone or metal, you pick it, you throw to the touch line. He picked it up and he threw it out. He didn't direct it towards the crowd. So, thank God, the review, the FA review team has taken action over Ryan Sterling throwing an object back off the pitch during Chelsea's victory over Tottenham. And they found him not guilty. So we move on from there. Tomorrow, Raheem Sterling, if called upon, ready to feature. No ban for him. All right. Pochettino on Nicholas Jackson. Yes. The gaffer has spoken about Nicholas Jackson. And I want to let you know, the coach is demanding more from his players. This is what he has to say about Nicholas Jackson. It is a process. I haven't changed my view about him. He scored three goals. It should have been six. Of course, 
It's never enough. <laughs> he said, Nicholas Jackson could have scored six goals in a match against Tottenham. And he is 110% right. The coach is right. Many chances were created for Jackson to score. Some of the runs, he runs ahead of the ball. Some he runs and the ball never comes in. The timing was wrong in many occasions. Jackson could have scored more than three goals last weekend, last Monday. Yeah. Jackson could have scored more than three goals. So the coach is right. He could have scored six. It is never enough. It is about being responsible, keeping calm and relaxed. With time, he will score goals. Monday will help him be less nervous and approach games in a different way. That means that the Monday with the three goals he scored, it will help him to be more relaxed and with time, he will score more goals. It will help him to be more relaxed. He will no longer be more, you know, that nervous. He will now approach games in a different way. With precision, with confidence. So we're going to see another side of Nicholas Jackson tomorrow. Or today, yeah. Actually today, we're already in today. Right, right, right. We're already in today. We are seeing another side of Nicholas Jackson today, Sunday. Right? Those of you who are in already who are still in Saturday, we are already in Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that is the beauty of being on the other part of the continent, my dear friend. That is the beauty of it. All right, we'll move on to other news. We move on to another one. It is exclusive for you tonight. Yeah. It is exclusive. Pochettino about bullish. Pochettino bullish about Chelsea's performance against Tottenham. Chelsea's performance against Tottenham. Before then, Pochettino on Copama. He said something strange about Copama. Listen, Copama is being compared to Juan Mata. And he said, no, no. He is more Angel de Maria. You know, the body and the way he moves. What about you? You know Angel de Maria, right? Yeah. And, and Mata. Of Chelsea, looking at Copama's play or style of play, who do you think can be, should be compared? To, should be compared to Copa, uh, Angel Di Maria or Dramata of Chelsea? Our coach, our gaffer is saying he is more of Angel Di Maria than Dramata. Let me know from you. What do you also think about that? All right, now let's get back to what the coach has to say about the entire squad. Pochettino bullish about Chelsea's performance against Tottenham. He said, we, we played 10 to 12 minutes, not in good way. When we considered a goal, it was a big hit for us. Hmm. And we provided them the possibility to play. When we considered a goal, it was a big hit, and we gave them the chance to play their game. We allowed them, the first 10 to 12 minutes, we allowed them, it was our mistake, it was our fault. Then after this moment, we started to control the game. Then we learn. We create chances. Go got disallowed. Yes. Then we force them to make mistakes. Then we force them. So we forced them to make mistakes. All those bad tackles, it was because of Chelsea's style of play. We forced them to make mistakes. Mm. We played 120 minutes. And I think we deserve to win. Crazy, but fair. All the decisions on the VAR was fair. Or tell me one decision that was not fair. And even a few decisions, more Tottenham was lucky. Few of the decisions, Tottenham was lucky. When you watch the game again and try to learn from the game, Tottenham was very lucky because they finished with only two less than us. What that means is that Tottenham could have received more yellow card or red cards. So they are even lucky to receive what? Only two red cards. They are lucky to end a game with us on 10 men against 11. Or, or 9 men against 11. Yeah. That's two less than us. 9 against they were, they were lucky. According to our coach, Tottenham are lucky. <laughs> All right. In, to end for tonight, and I'll come your way 
during the day to end for this morning. This is your breakfast, my breakfast, and this is your night sleep. Good night sleep. Fabrizio Romano, from what I am hearing, guys, at the moment, the beginning of November, there is still no agreement between Napoli and Victor Osime. As at the beginning of December, November, there is no agreement between Napoli and Victor Osimhen. The contract is still far from being done. And so the feeling is that Victor Osimhen could leave in the 2024 summer transfer window. Now, Chelsea, we, are, we ain't going to wait until the summer. We are moving in January. <laughs> Since there is no agreement. Fabrizio Romano is an insider, football news. Before it happens, you hear you get it from here. We go. He's saying there is no agreement so far. That agreement has been stalled, and so all is set for the player to live in. Hopefully, 2024. I am hoping that he will move straight away to Chelsea in January. Yeah. Now to let you go, I want you to look at the screen. There was a time when Chelsea had Drogba. Captain of Ivory Coast, Balak, Captain of Germany, Asien, Captain of Ghana, Chevchenko, Captain of Ukraine, John Terry, Captain of England, Peter Czech, Captain of Czech Republic, Obi Mikel, Captain of Nigeria, all playing in the same team, a team of leaders. There was a time when Jose Moreno gathered all these players together. You could see them with a cap. I think after Jose left the same squad with Gus Hindik, yeah, winning a trophy. All, there was a time when Chelsea had all these leaders in one team. You can imagine. You can imagine. I, I read something recently from a pundit and I was like, the, 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 uh, why? the person said, Jose gathered squads from like, like a steel some of the players were like nothing, but you see, made them to become like a steel. I remember where I saw it from. I'll try and get it and I'll bring it for you. Mikel Obi on Victor Osimhen. He's got the arrogance. He's got the personality. You can feel someone has walked into the dressing room. And that, that's what Didio Drogba had. With Victor, I would say definitely he's come close to Didi. My advice for him is to come to Chelsea. My advice for him is to come to Chelsea. Yes. I have his podcast video in the the video, the episode before this one. You can go back and watch that episode. You will listen to Mikel Obi. The button. My dear friend, it is a football night. Go to the description there. Click on Bet Winner. Register with them. Bet with them tonight on any other games. Win big. Use my promo code TIM1979, T-I-M-1979 as the promo code and win this weekend. I'll see you on the other side when you see me in the next episode. Shalom and peace.